the flight of the birds. Regarding the flight of birds, the Quran says, Do they not look at the birds, held poised in the midst of the air and the sky? Nothing holds them up but the power of Allah. Verily in this are signs for those who believe. Al-Quran, chapter 16, verse 79. A similar message is repeated in the Quran in the verse, Do they not observe the birds above them, spreading their wings and folding them in? None can uphold them except Allah most gracious. Truly it is He that watches over all things. Al-Quran, chapter 67, verse 19. The Arabic word amsaka literally means to put one's hand on, seize, hold, hold someone back, which expresses the idea that Allah holds the bird up in His power. These verses stress the extremely close dependence of the bird's behavior on divine order. Modern scientific data has shown the degree of perfection attained by certain species of birds with regard to the programming of their movements. It is only the existence of a migratory program in the genetic code of the birds that can explain the long and complicated journey that very young birds, without any prior experience and without any guide, are able to accomplish. They are also able to return to the departure point on a definite date. Professor Hamburger in his book Power and Fragility gives the example of a mutton bird that lives in the Pacific with its journey of over 15,000 miles in the shape of a figure eight. It makes this journey over a period of six months and comes back to its departure point with a maximum delay of one week. The highly complicated instructions for such a journey have to be contained in the bird's nervous cells. They are definitely programmed. Should we not reflect on the identity of this programmer?